Hi, I'm Jan Ezer. As we all know, many edit jobs involve lots of repetitive actions. Here are some ways that Adobe Premiere Pro CC lets you speed through this tedium. So we're going to look at two different projects. We're going to look at a video shoot in a minute, and we're going to look at a webinar to start. So here's my webinar. There's a couple of components. We've got the slides down here. There's 32 of them, and we've got the speaker video up here. Now I've adjusted the positioning that I want in the first slide. So here's how Premiere Pro imported the images, um, scaling them to full size and then placing them in the middle. And here's where I want the image. So now I've got to get this adjustment, which I made up here to the motion controls, over to all 31 of these other slides. A couple different ways to do it. The easiest way to do it is to select the source clip and then choose Edit Copy, and then choose all the targets, and choose Edit Paste Attributes. In the Paste Attributes panel, Premiere Pro will show you all the adjustments that have been made to the fixed effects and any of the effects that you've applied to the clip will show up here. Let me show you what I mean. So here's the speaker video and in the speaker video I adjusted the motion to get it over here on the right. I cropped it, I adjusted the brightness and contrast a bit. So if I copy and paste attributes here, we'll see all the adjustments made or all the effects applied from the source clip that you can choose to apply to the target clip. We're not seeing that here because the only adjustment I made to the clip uh, was in the motion controls. So I'm going to choose Edit Copy, again choose my targets, Edit Paste Attributes, Motion is the only effect that I want to apply to all those slides, click OK, and the slides that used to be centered are now in the right position. So that works really well when you're applying an adjustment made to one clip to a bunch of clips on the timeline. What about if you want to preserve that for future projects? Well in that instance you would come up here, choose the effect that you're trying to preserve, right click, choose Save Preset, and let's call this Slide Adjustment. If you had keyframes in the clip, you'd have to mess with these. We don't have that, so I'm going to ignore them. Obviously, you can type a description here and then press OK. So we've already applied the effect to these clips. Let's undo that. This is another cool feature in Premiere Pro. We've got a bunch of motion effects applied to this clip. We want to undo that. Choose Clip, Remove Effects, make sure Motion is selected, and then click OK, and then you've removed that effect. So if we want to reapply it, we created the preset that shows up in your presets folder in the effects panel. You choose the targets, drag the slide adjustment onto any one of them, and then they are all placed where you want them. So those two adjustments work pretty well when you're dealing with a very objective adjustment. So we know exactly where we want to put these slides, but let's look at a bit more of a subjective adjustment. So this is a video shoot. I've got two clips, a bunch of different scenes that I've carved out of those two clips. And overall the video is actually pretty good. The only thing is because of the blue background and the gray shirt, the face looks a little bit cold. So what I did on the first clip was I used the three-way color corrector to boost saturation in the midtones from 100 to 157, and that gave me a little bit more warmth in the face, as you can see when I toggle this on and off. Now the thing about this adjustment is, it's the kind of adjustment that when you render the clip, when you produce a DVD or when you output a MP4 clip, you may say, you know what, that looks okay, but I may want to dial it down a little bit, or I may want to increase it a little bit. So it's kind of a subjective adjustment. And then you could use the same copy and paste attributes or create a preset, but if you did and you decided, hey, I want to dial this down to 150 or dial it up to 170, you'd have to either remove the effect and reapply it or adjust each clip individually. And there's just an easier way to do that, and that easier way is called adjustment layers. So let me disable this for the first clip. And... When you create an adjustment layer, you want to have the sequence that you're targeting open in the timeline. And then you come over here to the project panel. You make sure that's selected. Typically, I would use the new item here, but since you can't see that, file new adjustment layer. And the adjustment layer, as you see, is customized for the resolution of the open 
sequence. And that's why it's important to open the sequence first. And then here's the new adjustment layer. And I take that and place it over all the clips in the timeline that I want to adjust. So I drag it over here. And I guess we could copy and paste this guy onto the adjustment layer. Here's yet another way to do it. So now what I've done is I've pasted the effect onto the adjustment layer and all the clips beneath the adjustment layer have that effect. And I need to disable here so everything looks the same. So say over this clip, if I come over here and toggle it on and off in the adjustment layer, you see that the effect has been applied to the clip beneath the adjustment layer. So there you go. Repetitive tasks don't have to be tedious in Adobe Premiere Pro CC if you use one of the multiple techniques described in this tutorial. I'm Jan Ozer. Thanks for watching.